So welcome back again. In this lesson, we are not going to learn anything new. Rather, I'm going to show you how we are going to use some of the things that we have already covered to make a card flip animation. By card flip, I mean that you tap on an object, it flips back, and on the back of it, you see something else. So to do that, we have to use two animations. One is to squeeze the object to the center that it feels like it is flipping, and then scale it back up. In that moment, when the object is squeezed, we have to change the content of it. And when we uh, scale it back up, we see the new content on it. Let's see how we're going to accomplish all of these things. I'm going to head into Android Studio. I'm going to actually call this new application called the Flip Animation. And let me get myself the right you know, formatting in here. Finish that. Now, the very first thing that we want to be doing is we want to actually head into our activity and we want to make our card. Uh, very similar to what we have been doing uh, over and over in this section. I'm going to call this one, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to make it of type view. I'm going to give it an ID. The ID for it is going to be, um, actually is going to be red view and doesn't have the text rather it has background and the background is android uh, red and that's all we want to be doing in here as we have done several times before now let's head into our code actually before that let me quickly change something uh, a force of habit made me make this a view uh, rather I actually want this to be a text view simply because I want to be able to see which side of it is the front and which side of it is the back. So I'm going to say the text of this says uh, front and uh, that's, you know, that's good. So it says a front. Maybe I change a few things in here real quick. So I said the gravity of it is the center and the text size of it. Maybe it is going to be 36 SP and maybe I'm going to change the text color of it to be uh, white, for instance. So it's going to be uh, this color. So this is the front of it. And then when we tap on it, we want to see the back of it. So apologize for that. I kind of the, the, the force of habit made me make the view. So let's make it a text view so we can actually see what's going to happen. Now, when we tap on this, we want it to flip and show us uh, the term back. So as if this is the back of the card. Let's go ahead to our main activity. In here, I'm going to go ahead and say, Red view uh, dot set on click listener. So on click listener, when we click on you, we want to make some changes. And now let's see what are those things that we want to be doing in here. We want to have two animations. One animation squeezes this object to zero, and the other uh, animation expands it back to one. So let's go ahead and say val. Uh, I'm going to call this one, uh, let's say anim one. All right. The anim one is going to be object animator, object animator, and of the type float of float. And it's going to work on the red view, obviously. Then I'm going to give it a property name. This time I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to put it between quotations. So we see another way. It's going to be a scale X. So it's going to move on the property of a scale X. Then it's going to go ahead and say go from one to zero. So basically, a scale it on X from whatever is to completely uh, finish, to completely zero value. Now, this is the animation one. I'm going to go ahead and copy this exactly as it is. I'm going to call this one animation two. On the scale of X, it basically is going to be going from zero to one this time. So one of them squeezes it from one to zero. The other one expands it back from zero to one. And that's you know, pretty much you know all we have to do for having two new animations. Then I'm going to choose the interpolator for these two. So this time the interpolator would make a little bit more meaning. So anim1, I'm going to say the interpolator for it would be decelerate. So basically, as it is proceeding through the animation, it starts to slow down. So at the beginning, it goes faster. And then at the end, it's slower. So it goes faster at the beginning and a slower at the end. Anim2, however, the interpolator of it, I'm going to make it the opposite of this. I'm going to make it an acceleration interpolator, which basically means at the beginning it slows and then it becomes faster. If you think of it, when these two animations, they run back to back, 
the first one starts fast and slows down and then the next one is slowly starts and goes fast so basically goes from fast to slow to fast so the center part of it is going to be the uh, the slowest of it uh, if you prefer a different way you obviously can you know uh, you know uh, reverse these two or you could you could just apply a, an entirely different type of interpolator now let's go ahead and say we want to see how we can actually run the next animation uh, back to back so I'm going to go ahead and say uh, in here my animator one this is the one that's running first I'm going to go ahead and say it has a listener in the listener i'm going to have an object in the object i'm going to say this is of the type uh, animation listener uh, object if i can find that animator listener uh, adapter actually of the adapter i'm going to go ahead and say what do i do want is this i want to actually have uh, animation end so i'm going to say override function on animation ended and then we have the animation and then super animation ended and then what i wanted to happen is this when the animation ended it means this part has ended so our object has now been scaled down to be zero right in that moment say red view dot text becomes back so we see the text back now from this point on which is basically right at the center of the uh, card flip once you did that do this say anim2 dot start so basically run the first animation once it ends change the text and run the next animation and of course at the end of all of these things i have to say anim1 dot start because animation one should begin at some point as well so uh, kind of a you know simple code uh, one animation uh, squeezes one animation scales up they have the interpolators when one of them ends the other one begins let's go ahead and see if this is going to do uh, what we hope it's going to do i'm going to head into my emulator once my emulator loads up i should be able to tap on this object and i should be able to see the text back let's see perfect every time we tap on it of course the next time it doesn't really show the front but every time we tap on it we see that it flips all the way from one side to another you can obviously you know write a little bit more code so you know what the state it is if it is front you do something if it is back you do another thing uh, but that's basically the the core of it how we could use some of the techniques we learned already to make a little card flip animation now uh, this is an animation that we are going to use in uh, i think our next section where we make a little game so let's keep it up to here for this section and uh, let's move on to our next one